Welcome to Electron Online. One of the most confusing aspects of electron engineering versus basic science and physics when we talk about current is what is the direction of the current? Well, the conventional direction of the current is that current flows from a power source and from the positive end of the power source to the negative end of the power source. That's the conventional current. That's, that's basically the current concept set up by Benjamin Franklin. He claimed that there's positive charges flowing through the circuit. However, at the time, we didn't understand what the positive and negative charges were. We knew there were positive charges. We knew there were negative charges. We didn't know which ones were flowing through the circuit. So the assumption was made, let's just call it the positive charges moving through the circuit. So we call that the IEEE convention. It is the conventional direction of the current from positive to negative. However, we all now realize that it's the negative charge that are actually doing the moving. It's the negative electrons in the atoms of material that are moving through the circuit. In essence, the current, the real current, the real charges are moving in the opposite direction from the negative end of the battery to the positive end of the battery through the load resistor. What we're going to do from now on is we're going to assume that the positive current, the conventional current, is flowing the, indeed from the positive to negative side while we understand that the electrons are flowing in the opposite direction and the electrons then form the negative current. So that way we're always safe. We can say the conventional current runs from or flows from positive to negative and the electron current flows from negative to positive and we call that therefore the negative current. The definition of the current is defined here by this differential equation that I is equal to the change in the charge per unit time. We really don't mean the change, we mean the amount of charge that's flowing past a, past a particular point. So if we take any point on the circuit and we watch current going by that point, we can say that the current flow is equal to the amount of charge that passes that point per unit time. The charge is usually indicated in terms of coulombs and the time in seconds. So coulombs per second then gives us amps or amperes. We use the symbol A to indicate the amount of current that we have. One amp is determined or defined by the ratio of one coulomb per second. When you know we have a current flow of one amp, you know that there's one coulomb of charges passing that point every single second. A coulomb of charge is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the 18th unit charges. The unit charge, of course, the charge we have on a single electron or a single proton. Now here again is where people get confused. They say, well, if the charge is positive and yet you indicate negative charges, electron charges, how can you justify that? An electron charge is simply a unitary charge, the simplest charge in the universe. Therefore, we call an electron charge a single charge and a coulomb has 6.24 times 10 to the 18th of those. Again, we think of coulombs as positive, we think of current as positive charges flowing. Finally, if you want to then calculate how much charge has, has gone past a certain point in the circuit, the charge that has passed that point is equal to the integral of the current at that point times dt integrated from 0 to t. So how much current has flown over a certain amount of time, especially if i is not a constant but a variable, then of course we want to keep track of that and the total charge will then simply be the integral of the current times dt. That's the basic concept of current. From now on we realize current is positive charge flowing from the positive end of the battery to the negative end of the battery. If we all keep that in mind, then it will be a lot easier to follow the videos that are to come. And that's how we look at current.